first started when I was 27. Uh, I was originally in construction work um, and I talked to some people. And didn't really know anybody in law enforcement but it seemed like a kind of an interesting career path to choose. So around the age of 27. I would say no. Um, I don't don't know that anybody really, I don't know if they aspire to that. Um, it's one of those things once you're in the organization, it kind of appeals to you, but I don't know that at an early age I did. Probably a leader's best asset would be the ability to kind of judge a situation quickly and use the resources that you have to your best ability. You kind of need to be able to assess your your own ability to lead people, uh, to manage their work, and uh, you have to be able, if you see a deficiency, to be able to uh, either change it or seek training. Uh, how difficult it could be at times. With anything, it's obviously you want to do a, a good, competent job. Um, you know that that's the first goal. With any leadership position, um, you can't worry about yourself. You know, there's other people that work for you. There's the place itself that has a great number of things they want to accomplish here. So you have to fit yourself into that role as a leader in order to make. I think everybody does, um, and, and that's not a bad thing. Um, you need to do a little bit of reflection in order to assess your ability to supervise. Um, you know, it's, it's not just about having stripes on your arm, in, in our case here, or, or a bar on your collar. You, you can there be a leader, and certainly in, in my career, I've met plenty of them in other places where they're supervisors in name only, and they don't get the respect of people that work for them. So you really do need to kind of assess every once in a while and, and see what the trends are. Exactly that, being able to lead people, you know, uh, a, lar a large part of this job consists of getting people to do things they don't want to do, um, and that's always a challenge. Here, especially, um, motivation is kind of trying to assess people's ability to do a particular job and help them do it rather than direct them to say, hey, I need you to do A, B, and C, um, is to give them the ability or the training to know what needs to get done and then to be able to sit back and watch them do it. That's It's definitely a difficult time in law enforcement uh, based on what's going on. Uh, obviously, the first thing you want to tell people is to be safe. Um, then it requires a little bit of motivation in order to get them to do their jobs. You know, you'll read a lot about how people in law enforcement are kind of more willing to sit back now and let things happen uh, because they're afraid of the attacks or they're afraid of public opinion. 
which is not great at the time. Um, but you kind of need to motivate them again, do their job competently. Um, you know, we're, we're in a service kind of profession here. So the service itself is a motivation to you know, be able to go out and say that we serve our community. Um, so you have to remind people of that. At this point, after 23 years, it, you know, to, to be able to watch people who came on quite a while ago, um, to see them do their job properly and well, um, motivates me. Uh, to you know, my my particular job is not so much what I get done in a day; it's it's what I can help other people get done. So that's that's kind of my. There is a divide, I guess, kind of uh, younger people coming into law enforcement now are not, uh, are usually coming in right out of college or sometimes trade schools. Uh, there's not a lot of opportunity for them to, uh, for a lot of them, this is their first job. Um, when I started, and certainly the people before me had been working for a living, and it was kind of easier to fit into a job like this. Coming right out of school, uh, the entire motivation, you know, to, to fit into a job and then to do it well is, is what's difficult, I think, for people that are in leadership roles now is to, to kind of assess what we're getting as, as a new hire and then try to figure out, you know, what, what role is best for them. Absolutely do it. Um, the best advice is to be, I mean, really just to be, it's not a matter of what supervision courses you can take or how many degrees you can get. It's uh, whether you can think quickly. Common sense goes a long way here. Um, you know, if you're, if you're looking to seek out a, a leadership role here, then it's really nothing more than can you motivate people to do really effective work, and do you see yourself enjoying that type of work? I would like people to hear to say that they thought that, or they, number one, they enjoyed working for me. Um, I would hope that if the, the legacy would actually be that I made their job easier for them to do. Uh, probably to jump in with both feet. Um, a supervision role here is not something that you take on with any temerity. You have to jump in and give the appearance of a leader from the get-go. The advice I would have given myself: just just jump in and be that person. Um, 